Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about some of the properties of the p-block elements. In this we'll see that the last electrons enters the outermost p orbital. That is something we have seen. We have defined this. The p-block elements are the elements where the last electron enters the outermost p orbital. Helium is the exception here. And if you see P block element P orbit looks like this. We have seen the structure of this. If you have doubts, you can watch the chap video on uh, the chapter where we discuss where we discussed about the orbitals. So we have P X and let's suppose this is P Y and then we have P Z, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So P orbital can hold at the max six electron. So if the last electron enters these orbitals, I say it is a P block element. Helium is a exception in the helium it is 1s2 that is my electronic configuration right so the last electron enters s orbital but since the helium property is very much similar to my neon argon helium is also kept in p block elements so if you see the p orbitals can accommodate six electron as i told one two three four five six let me put a dot here one two three four five six so helium can accommodate six electrons right and thus we have six group of p block elements so uh, there's a good question why we have six group why we don't for example s group we know that there are two group uh, two groups s block right uh, my group one group two but p block there are six groups one two three four five six the good question is why there are six group six group because the p orbital can accommodate six electrons in this case i have p1 only one electron in the p block this is p2 two electrons in the p block p3 three electrons in the p block p4 four electrons in the p block p5 five electrons in the p block and here it is p6 helium is the exception anyway you can ignore the helium apart from this everything is p6 and that's why we have six groups and the number of group is 13 to 18 correct Please note it is group 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, and 18. It is not group 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A lot of students get confused. It is group 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay. And if you see the valence cell electronic configuration is in this form NS2, NP126. This will decide which group it is. If it is 1, it will be in 13 group. If it is 2, it is in 14 group. Right? If it is 3, it will be in 15 group. It is 6, it will be in 18 group. So best way to remember this is uh, group 1 belongs to group 13. Why? See, 13, right? You subtract 10. Subtract 10 and then subtract this 2. Because it is in P block, there is a 2 also, right? So 2, sorry, plus add 2. And then you add this value 1 to 6, whatever you want. So this is the formula. 10 plus 2, 12. You add 12 to this. For example, it is group 1. Sorry, the last only one electron in the P block. 12 plus 1, group 13. Only two electron in the group in the P orbital. 12 plus 2, 14. Three electron in P orbital. 12 plus 3, 15 group. Four orbital in four electron in the P orbital. 12 plus 4, 16. 5 orbit, 5 electron in the p orbital, right? 12 plus 5, 17. 6 electron in the p orbital, 12 plus 6, 18. Correct? There is a difference of 12 in this. Okay. And one more good part about this p block element this is a very unique part. That you have metals, you have non-metals, and we have metallites. All these three exist in this P block. So if we talk about the metals, we have aluminium is a metal, right? We have gallium is a metal, indium is a metal. All these are metal actually. If we talk about metallites, I have boron is a metalloid. My silicon is a metalloid. All this uh, brown color, germanium, arsenic, these are all metalloids. Talk about non-metal, my nitrogen is a non-metal, 
sorry let me do it some other nitrogen oxygen fluorine chlorine bromine all these are non metal correct so we have metal non metal and metalloid we'll discuss about this in detail in this p block element the only block which has uh, all three metal non metal and metalloids existing is p block elements since we have now as i told we have metals we have non metals we have metalloids all together in this p block element there is a lot of variation in the physical properties so if you see the physical property of boron and physical properties of neon there is a huge difference if you talk about the physical property of carbon and physical property of fluorine there is a huge difference there is a huge difference in the physical properties of elements in this group and also the first member of each group differs from the remaining members we'll see that the first member is always special the first member is always special we'll see a uh, special behavior of nitrogen we'll see special behavior of oxygen fluorine and neon right let's see how they look before we even start so in this group 13 and group 15 is already we have covered in class 11th group 15 16 17 18 we will be covering nitrogen looks like this it's in the, almost the gas form phosphorus it has uh, various electrons we'll discuss about this so this is how it looks all these elements my arsenic antimony and bismuth all has or a solid and has um, because shining surface oxygen is again uh, you can get oxygen in the liquid form and oxygen in the gas form also then you have sulfur we'll see the electrons of sulfur also so we will discuss about all these we see the bromine it looks like uh, it looks like it is liquid red we see all this uh, noble gas elements they all gases with different colors you see iodine is black color chlorine is um, also white almost transparent liquid so we'll discuss about these all these elements now we'll start with group 15 but before that we'll discuss again some of the common trends in the p block element we've discussed that in class 11 we'll just uh, do a quick repeat so if you see this is what we have discussed if you go from left to right in the periodic table the electron gain in thalpy increase electron gain in thalpy is nothing but the amount of energy released when an isolated gaseous item accepts an electron to become monovalence gaseous ions and generally it's electron gain in thalpy that is amount of energy is released but sometimes even energy is required right for example fluorine will become f minus fluorine becomes c minus so in this case they will generate some energy they will give some energy delta h is something negative they will emit some energy right so this is a isolated gaseous item this is isolated gaseous atom and this will accept an electron to become my gaseous ion and this in most of the case it release energy and that's called electron gain enthalpy and this increase actually fluorine has a maximum value because fluorine want to be stable fluorine also has a good value but if you talk about um, oxygen to o minus i doubt it will have a good value anyway so this value increase if you go from left to right also if you go from bottom to top this value increase same similar trend for the ionization energy ionization energy is nothing but ionization enthalpy is nothing but amount of energy required so this is emitted generally and this is required this is the reverse trend actually to remove one electron from the atom so i have atom i want to remove one electron for example i have na i want to make it na plus i want to pluck one electron from na right 
this is my ionization enthalpy this is the amount of energy required so typically amount of energy required to remove one atom so remove an electron from the atom and the next is the metallic character increases in this fashion non metallic character increases in this fashion we have discussed a lot about this atomic radius if you see if you go down the group the atomic radius increase if you go from right to left the atomic radius increase electronegativity if you go from left to right the electronegativity increase and if you go from bottom to top electronegativity increase i have not discussed this in detail now but you can watch the previous videos uh, on periodic table trends where we've discussed these things in details why it behaves right this is just a recap thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again